you guys can eat. Yeah, both of you. What does it feel like to have the show? It feels good. <laughs> it looks good. It's clean. <laughs> you know, nothing bothers me. You know, you look at some stuff and you're like, it look like that. I mean, everything feels good. What about you feeling of it? The feeling of it, I think, is a combination of what our pieces actually are, but also how she hung them, mm -hmm. how she curated the space, um, how Melody hung them. It looks like our pieces are having conversations with each other. Mm -hmm. And that even those other pieces that might not be necessarily speaking to mind might be speaking across the room to one of the kids that's speaking back to mind. So it feels like the room is quietly loud, if that makes sense. Because it feels peaceful, but you know, it's still like a lot, you know. Let's, let's play with that. So if you said quietly loud, this idea, what were you trying to say to the people, those of us coming in and seeing each other? Because it's obviously said something specific to you, but what, what were you trying to portray? What's your portrayal? No, 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 no. So portrayal, you know, is, I'm a portrait painter, I'm a creative painter, period. Um, and he's a photographer. So I don't know the name, but we'll go ahead. <laughs> he did. So he didn't even talk about it. Tell You came up with the name. How did you come up with the name? Tell her that come up with the name. What the information she gave you? You gave me some information. So the initial yeah. name that I wanted to call it was Enmeshment. Yeah, right? It was too messy. It was a messy name. It's not a messy <laughs> There is no real positive, like, kind of, it's no positive take on the actual definition of enmeshment, but, like, because it's, you know, I don't know if you know what enmeshment is, it's like when, say, two people live together, it could be a husband and a wife, it could be a daughter and a mother, like, all of it, like, if somebody is mad about, say, work or something, that other person is pissed even more, like, they, like, it's no separation. Even if this person is dead ass wrong, they still gonna be on this person's side because it's all a mess. But that's the way that the definition reads. But I'm like, wait a minute, that could be like a good thing too, because that's also kind of empathy. And you know, it's also, it could be symbiotic. So I was like, I want to play with that word, but he hated that shit. So. <laughs> I like stuff simple and clean. Like your photos. Yeah, you ain't got to read them nothing. You know what I'm saying? And then he calms this like, how about the train? Like, oh shit, I can't hear that. Can't argue with it. Can't argue with it. There you go. Why now though? Why why do it in a way in this room where you could have then continue to let the public like I think most people didn't know how uh, how you even work together. That's true. That there's this this is what power public, what creatively created together. Why why did you decide to do that? Well, we have kind of collaborated, but not in a gallery thing. While last year, I think probably what really set it off was last year during the pandemic, I painted, you know, the Homo building, the 8,000 square foot mural. Mm -hmm. We got Princess Hills, Girl with Big Earrings. Shameless plug. But, and while, while me and my team worked on it, he filmed the whole process. And then he ended up creating this short documentary film, but it actually won a Hollywood Gold Award. Um, for best director uh, for short doc. Came to film everything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm Yeah. And so that probably was kind of like our coming out party, if you will, of how we work together. But it's it's not like a direct work. Like he wasn't directing me, but he was paying attention to all the little details. Like, and he catches things that I might not be paying attention to. I think what best kind of display that kind of in this show would be I see women and the young men next to what can I have you? Which one? Messin. Oh yeah. Because yeah. while I was like, this is that piece was um, that was shot in Sierra Leone in Freetown mm -hmm. while I was painting a mural there. And while I was there, like it, it's on a very long road, like a major street. And women aren't, don't do public art there. Public art really isn't a thing anyway, but, and even like their billboards are billboards, they're hand painted, but they're billboards, they're not like murals, it's not like a street art scene. But more importantly though, it's crazy for a woman. So while I was working there, like every day, it could be women and men, 
walk past like, oh my God, women. Women, and then they would stop. So this group of boys, like one of them, I think it hit the one with the head down. Was like, no, we gotta go. Y'all messing. Y'all messing. We gotta go. We got home. Y'all messing. Everybody else stopped. He kept going. He was like, turn around, like, turn back. You're like, y'all messing. You were watching the whole thing. Yeah. 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 They messing. They messing. I'm not messing. Oh, I'm messing. 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 When something interests you, you know, that's when that's when you should take the picture. You know what I mean? So if you're not interested in the situation, then it must not be interesting. So once I'm like, hey, this is interesting. Mm -hmm. But in the, frame, in the framing of it, like it doesn't seem like you wouldn't know that there's any involvement with her. So I just wonder, are you when you're watching her work, are you watching both things, the environment? Yeah, it's like everything. And plus, I was sitting there for a while. They didn't just walk up. Okay. So I wait for people to get comfortable. I don't, as soon as they walk up, I don't start taking pictures. They didn't walk up, ask questions, and you know, we was making, you know, they were joking around. Then you take the picture because everybody's calm. You know. So when you all are, are you all collaborating or just creatives who happen to be creating together? Is, is there always collaboration like a symbiosis? Is it always we're ever? creatives that just happen to be creating together, and we're so kind of symbiotic in our relationship because we're friends, you know, like we're together, but we're friends first. You know what I mean? So we relate on a lot of things and a lot of things that, like I stopped working, I was messing with them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Cause, and I think I love that the most because none of the images, his images necessarily have anything to do with me. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the beauty of it. Like it's not, it ain't like, oh, this, how you mean this, like riding off city coattails, nothing, his images, his images have nothing to do with me. There's another one, so I, to prove that there's a symbiotic relationship, in the setup for this, I asked y'all a setup question that you didn't know that you were for. It's mm -hmm. funny, you both answered it the same way without knowing it. And I asked, we you know now. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the thing I asked you both to tell me the piece in the show that you love the most mm -hmm. of each other's work. Mm -hmm. Lamar, what's the piece of well, your own work? What's, her, what's the piece of your own work? Oh, mine was the, uh, was the ghost of. Mm -hmm. It wasn't an easy choice, but. Really? I mean, because I like, you, know, you, like all your, you like all your work, so it's not like... But what's the story of it? What's the story? Of that picture. Oh, you talking about like a deeper story? Yeah. Why are you talking about like... Because that's know? a piece you got to be able to say that Oh, well that picture right there, that was the first time we went to Africa. We was in uh, Ghana. Mm -hmm. um, and that particular picture, it took us like, how long to get there? Oh, God. Like, if it was Detroit, it would have been like a 15 minute drive, <laughs> maybe 30. <laughs> There it was like 30 minutes. Yeah. So how long was it? I mean, three hours. Yeah, three hours. Three, three hours. Three, 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 four hours. Yeah. 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 On a yeah. bus, like you're on a bus with everybody else. But it's not, not like, a bus. They call it a bus, but it's really a van. Yeah. It's a troll troll. Yeah. 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 And you see this table. It's anywhere. I mean, that's, that's a picture of the story. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just talking about getting there. Right. So we, you know, we got up early, long trip, and um, and you show up. And you know, first we had the Cape, you know, uh, Cape Coast was funded over turn. And we were going to go in, but they had to charge to go in. And it was like, how much? Like 20? It was like 40 EC. First of all, I just didn't have one. But I'm <laughs> also, <honestly, laughs> like, you're not going to charge the locals five CD and you're going to charge me 40. And I'm the nigga that never got to return. <laughs> I should be a <laughs> Like, Now you're thinking about it. Because, you know, most of the time you're not really thinking about 
if the picture is gonna be that picture, you just see something because you're by yourself. Mm -hmm. And yeah, as you can see, it's like real quiet too. So I took that picture and then uh, I think I hit it one time, but for this time I had two like similar pictures, so I overlaid them and it automatically just that happened it was like real easy. So I had them. And then Susan, your take on you love the What what about that photo? So the assignment was to choose a favorite of our own and then choose a favorite of our partners. I also chose Ghost. You hate it too. You hate it too. It's kind of like, he was in class and he talked about my answer. I need to do that. It's the Like, I didn't, 
People you know, were nice. people were nice. They were offering us food. They were da da da. I was like, yeah, because and that's how I was in Africa. Like even this piece is called I am Evia because I am really Evia. I was born on a Friday. Mm. When we were there, like we stayed in um, Osu, we were walking this main street where this lady had like a chicken stand. Like she had chicken and like fish. Mm -hmm. And fish and then uh, not the tribe, but uh, yuca. Yeah, yuca. Right. And she asked Gerald what my name was, and he t she told him, you know, tell her to learn her name, and that's what I'm gonna call her when she comes. And he taught me how to learn my name, and so you know, I was really stuck. You know, because we got Google now. I could find out what day I was born <laughs> on. You know, the last day, 1979, and it was a Friday, and so. It just so happens while I was painting a mural there, he was doing what he does. He was doing an interview for his um, documentary, Therapatic, and this is like a mega star over there. Her name is Effie. She's a singer, like a pop star over there. And um, her name is Effie, so, and I just kind of fused the two. And I am Effie, because I really am Effie. So this is not so much the work in the show, which could seem almost be two different shows. Mm -hmm. Because there's Detroit, Detroit shows up in the show, but are you all portraying that? Is there a connection to something deeper to Detroit? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's straight home. Like, it's like to me, Detroit is the closest thing to Africa or the African experience that I come because you can live like a king in the Shanty Village, you can live like a king in the North End or wherever. Like, you can have that one house on your blocks that's left. But it's yours. Mm -hmm. Well, Mar, a lot of the works that you have, I mean, there's a lot of focus on eyes. Is, is that something that you're particularly drawn, drawn to, like the eyes? Have you looked at the photographs of the kids? Uh, yeah, I mean, pictures are always better once you can see somebody's eyes, unless you're trying to put them in a the shadow, like with the, you know, the other ghost of. But the connection of it, yeah. But the kids, it was, it was just easy. They were just, they were just happy. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to shoot. Like I got a picture to leave this like on me and they want the shot. They, then after I take the picture, they want to see the picture. Mm -hmm. Some of them look at it and give you a heads up. You know, some of them like do it again. Mm -hmm. So it was more just a you know, just just a react reacting with them. So it was they was already happening, so it was easy to get those eyes wide open. So were people expecting you both as Detroit artists, how did you decide like what did you put in the show how, to cross that line and make to be more than Detroit, to be more than this mural? Well, for me, it was easy because I was only going to paint five paints. So. <laughs> <laughs> His was more, more difficult because he had way more photographs than this. So we had to really narrow down. And we had to, we, this is what curators are for. It's really, when she started painting, I wanted her to start painting. So whatever she wanted to paint, then I kind of built around that. Because I wasn't going to say, how about this picture? So I see her start painting. Because you did a, uh, what? Max first, right? Yeah, I did. So once I saw I started painting Max, I said, okay, I see what you, how you paint the, the perspective you paint from, so now let me pick out some pictures that kind of complement that. Mm -hmm. And the photo behind I mean, the paint, the photo behind us is the one that you're most in conversation with. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that was for the, the third one. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, yeah the photo came first. Mm -hmm. You know, when you think about um, that you do have a travel as a subject, but Detroit, is Detroit still the music? Is Detroit still what's driving? When people come in here, are you hoping that they see themselves in Detroit? Like, we've got a couple pieces that are specific to Detroit. Um, Detroit still seems fresh. I think it's bigger than Detroit, just because it's just, it's blackness, period. But Detroit is, for me, is blackness. You know what I mean? It's in every form, because blackness, as you know, is not a monolith. We're not one way. We're not even ten ways. We're every way we can be. And I feel like every representation of us <laughs> is somewhere in Metro Detroit. You know, one of the things was the opening reception I thought was really cool. There was a cross section of Detroit, Metro Detroit, working, walking in, not just art, but notion of art was only for certain folks. Right. How do you keep your work? What is it about the show that seems that was so accessible to all kinds of? Was that intentional? Because if you think about it, if art is personal to you, and that's how you make it, and that's how you stick with it, and people like your art because they like you, or they just like your pieces, they're going to connect with it. 
regardless. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm trying to say something specific. We talked a little bit. We didn't talk about it, but it's something that I got after I left. Just this notion of how you create as black artists, and what Nina Simone said, what James Baldwin said, that there's an absolute obligation to make work for the time and so that people can see themselves. Do you find that you're you're out there looking for that, or is it just? I feel like we just live it and then yeah. express it on, you know, in our areas. Mm -hmm. I try to shoot everything with the least amount of height implied. What do you mean? So I'm not shooting anything to sway you to like something. I'm shooting that actual subject doing what they actually do, mm -hmm. when they want to do it, how they want to do it. So once I shoot the reality of something, you can only accept it. You know what I'm saying? You can't say, oh, that's not how they really paint. Oh, that's not how they You're not trying to change how, you're not trying to influence how people. Yeah, I'm not. Black folks, mm -hmm. how, how we see ourselves. I'm just shooting that actual truth, no hype, so then you can't argue with that. So, well. <laughs> that's how I shoot. Okay, I get where you're going. So, oftentimes, when we're painted by others, like non black folks, okay. we're painted as subjects, and it feels like we're painted as subjects. So I am very conscious of making my, my, my muses feel as human as possible. And if you're, and it feels like you're interacting with a human when you're viewing my muses, at least that's what I got in my head. Maybe I'm hyping myself up, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> but I want you to, like, I do want people to feel like they can have a conversation with this thing. Like this was a real, this is a real person. Mm -hmm. Even if, and, and they are gonna remind you of somebody. That's gonna remind you of somebody auntie or somebody little cousin or something. You know what I mean? It's going to remind you of your coworker. Mm -hmm. And now, if you are like a non person of color, it might change your view. That's not my goal because that's none of my business how you view me. Mm -hmm. um, but it might. And Lamar, I mean, you should run the You shoot the people in Detroit what, every day. Are you all shooting? No, no. <laughs> so I have to wait a bit. I do shoot in Detroit. Yeah. I, I started shooting more in Detroit because COVID traveling. So I had, I was here more. Yeah. So to make use of my time, I started doing the, um, the series. Yeah. So like the, um, the like fall, yeah. yeah, the seasons, fall, winter, summer. But there are two Detroit, distinct Detroit shots in the show here. Is it Sabrina? Two? Yeah. Or well, three? Yeah. No, it's four. Oh, yeah, it's fine, because uh, the top, all the top three up there are all in Detroit. That's See, they have here. nothing to do with me, but those two are literally outside of girls in the yeah, Like, the young, the young lady right there is shooting a picture of the ball. So, here's the thing, Lizzie, let's make sure people understand. So, every time she's making work, are you shooting with her every time, or do you pick and choose when you are? Yeah, I don't really like shooting. Yeah, with more. yeah do I? I don't really like shooting people, painting, right, right, right. like the wall. Even her, even her. No, not really. I just shoot a piece here, a piece there. Because yeah. nobody needs to see the whole process. You know what I mean? yeah. so, and it's, it's boring to shoot. Just some <laughs> painting all day. And you get a couple of them and you leave them alone. That's how I shoot. What do you know about her work? Or, because you're so close to it, you live with it, mm -hmm. you watch it professionally. What do you know about her work that she might have? She might be surprised by? Uh, yeah, I think it's more so just the, the dedication. It just. Taking the, saying you're gonna do something and then doing it all the way through the way you wanna do it, opposed to just cutting corners. Saying, oh, I'm just I'm just gonna paint this. So you know you finish what you start, like basically. So it's more the dedication to it. Well say more about that. I mean, is she like in between cooking, going around painting? No, she's not in between cooking at all. There's nothing she's in between. She's cooking the paint. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying she just she up all night just painting, like just I was up until 4 o'clock in the morning today. But it's even more pressure when she's on walls because that's not in the house. That's not where you're comfortable at. Right. But she can stay out here for a long, long time. And mm -hmm. I can't stay anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but when you catch the community watching her, what's your topic? Would you show her, hey, you need to see her? Because the story I see women, mm -hmm. that was you watching. Well, that's how I shoot. So I just shoot what's around her. So she can, because every picture, it just, it just, an angle with like even right here, she's up painting right now. Oh yeah. Yeah, but so Sabrina, Sabrina just came just to hang out, you know, and she was looking like this, so I could not 
Shoot, you know what I'm saying? So it definitely just what it is. But when you catch a shot like this, do you go back and show her? Is it no, she she can see it. You know when I get home, she's like, let me up and then she'll go through the pictures. Okay. But it's nothing I'm not showing her like, look at this. Even okay. more so okay. when she sees she see it. And when you sing what you sing in your work, how does it as it change how you sing or does it give you a deeper connection to the community to sing? You mean when he sees like what he just said? Yeah, yeah when, you, when you see the work I've shot. Because he's watching the man Oh, yeah. Because oh, yes. the things you can't see. Where you yes. can give somebody else the pain. That. <laughs> that that can that's that's that happening right here. Straight ahead. You can even yes. see that. Yes. So, her name is Nat. She's a dope ass artist from Richmond. Her and her crew drove up here from Richmond during Blackout Walls and drove. Drove. Looking for a wall, I just didn't have, I didn't have any supplies to like accommodate them. But when I tell you she's dope, 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 I'll show you after this call. Um, <laughs> but he can, and I didn't have time, like I was in it because I'm organizing and I was paying for walls. I wasn't in a good headspace. I wasn't even talking to people. Mm -hmm. So it definitely gives me the experience that I did not experience when I look at his work. You know, because I'm like, oh, when is this? Oh, oh, but as soon as I saw that photo, I was like, oh, I'm paying her. Mm. Especially yeah. when, when I do like the, the doc, when I document it, like video wise, okay. then she really can see. Because, okay. like, even through the, um, the girl with the earring, right. she watched, when she watched that first oh, she time. The yeah, <laughs> now that she watched it, then she can see, then she start crying, and you know, but she's living in, in a comfortable space on the couch, and then she can see everything. So I think she gets. Inspired that way. And so, is it just me? It seems like your work is changing, like there's more negative space and you can't do something that. Yeah, so a couple of years ago, um, I had, a, that was my first solo show in Detroit, Sit Down Somewhere. I was really paying attention to design. Like, I didn't want, because I know I can paint, I know I can draw. <laughs> but I'm like, you know what? Let me use all of these CAS tech CCS tools. Let me, let me make it interesting. And so I designed these pieces, these paintings, and it was a lot of negative space. And they were really good. They were my favorite paintings at the time. And then the following year, I did Watch Me Work. And where I, I painted black women working throughout the pandemic, and I surrounded them with, I used all black negative space um, because I wanted to surround them with chaos. And chaos is everything together, which makes the color black. But my like I evolved with, with everyone. Like once I start looking at them, I'm like, mm, it can use a little something that extra. Plus, like I want to break up the chaos because it can't be all chaotic. So with this, I want to. I'm keeping my design. I play on shadows. I play on what these things mean. The embodiment of something else. But the black space, I wanted to break up with patterns. But when. Uh, West African textiles specifically. Specific action to the country, because that's a that's some fabric I got from Ghana. Those are like Sierra Leone textiles are more geometric, so that's why it's so simple with the lines on, on these two. Um, and they for me, like as I painted them or drew them, if I used a paint marker or a brush, it was kind of like my prayer. Mm. Like a prayer of black safety. Like in each one, yeah, each one's different person. yeah. So I think I'm gonna build out of this, one. but we'll see how it grows. It'll evolve. The other thing is, just know to the color palette. Yes. So I knew because I wanted to combine like his work and my work together some type of way. Because some are are taken from his exact photos, but like pieces of them. But some, like this Max painting, I took from the film. Like I was just going through the film and like I made my own skills. I was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, this is a good one. And the reason why it's called the more clothes is because that's actually a moment in the film where Max is explaining how he's gonna paint the earring and he like the more clothes. And when it's funny because when I was making the rep the my reference, um, not my reference, when I was making my thumbnail and my appropriate for this painting, because I always, like my systems of processes are still cast tech art department. <laughs> like you have the thumbnail, you work it out, and then you know you go to work on the canvas. But 
So I'm drawing it in Procreate, but I needed to cut out the, the, um, the silhouette to be exact. So I airdropped it to my, to my computer for Photoshop. When I airdropped it back, the file was so big, it made these colors do all these crazy things. I was like, oh, this looks dope. And I already decided it was going to be called the more glows. I said, this works. So I kind of wanted to do it with everything else. And I tried to do it organically again, but it wasn't working out. So I just used that same change again, just use different color schemes. And it worked out. Like, now that it's still, it's like, I wanted to really make it bright and vivid to make it seem like it's different worlds. Like, the only one that's really the same world, per se, is the one of I, um, I See Women. Because that was actually the only real time situation. Only real time situation. Yeah. You know, Omar, were you surprised? When did you know she was going to like, because men are, like, you said you don't take women. Mm -hmm. And now you see them in this show, but men are creep, creeping. Did you know they were going to be? Yeah. And you knew yeah. it was like. Oh, I knew when she was painting then, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that brings, like, the real thing. The one question I've been dying, we didn't get to do for the essay. Lamar says your, your character, he's sort of into, um, sort of suggested this. There's one thing you're scared to paint, him. No, I'm not saying No, you said she and I had to paint one girl, one, but only one. Yes, okay, that's enough. I said that too. You gonna put on a can of filter? Another one? <laughs> <laughs> why, why not one more? I ain't gonna sell it. <laughs> Anyway, I thought about it for this show, but then I ran out of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, what happened to Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you all think about another show, is there a subject that you, I mean, has this, has this show made you consider other subjects you might explore together, a more collaborative? Honestly, I think portrayal can get bigger. Like, mm -hmm. it could just expand. Different. Because it's how I portray versus how he portrays. Because I'm always going to portray him and I. Yeah. And we always working on something, so. If she's working, I'm working, and it always can be another show. But seeing the way people interact with this, has it made you like consider a specific subject or a specific place? Is there some place when COVID is not a problem that you might travel to together? We got a list, but until COVID, until pandemic is not pandemic I don't want to get my hopes up. Because we were talking about Greece, like we live in Greece right now. Greece? That was just a chill. That was just yeah, like, just hanging yeah. out. Yeah, but it's level four, so we do have travel goals, but no, not at the moment. But no subject, there's no subject. It just happens organic. It's real. Yeah, there's no storyboard, no like chopper. We, we need to get this. One. We need to get this. <laughs> yeah, so the sun, put the we go here. So <laughs> how many of them even take to decide how many, sh how many, which edges and how how many? There are nineteen in the show. So was it? How many? Guess you have to choose from at least forty. I mean, a lot. A lot. Can you narrow them down slowly or quick? Or was it just like you just knew? No, it was slow. But you had narrowed them down. Yeah, I narrowed them down enough. Enough. Enough that I would. Yeah, more. Yeah, and then he added more. That's true. But it, we narrowed it down so that there were enough so that it was, everything was very, um, had like a, like a theme, oh, you know, yeah. like, like you, there was, there was kind of a line that went through everything. Yeah, a thread rather. And if you had to define the line, you see your seeing your work painting the way that it is. Is there one thing you feel like you convey to people interacting? Yeah, yeah. I mean, because it all it all goes together. It, it makes sense. It all feels like love. Love, love. Life. Everybody on here looks like me. Love is still too. That's why. I was right on that Is Detroit, is Detroit still on fact your views? Is it 
No, I don't, I don't retreat. It's not a it's you, it's more so just where I'm from. Mm -hmm. So if anything, the people within the city give you inspiration. You know what I mean? So I'm not just- But that kind of is the city though. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just- Like we are special, it is special here. No, I'm not, so you, you got to like I'm saying it's not. I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, I'm shooting everything. I don't care if it's in Detroit. Now. That's what I'm saying. All lives matter. All pictures matter. They do. They do. They do. <laughs> I love Detroit. I'm going to say that. We want to open up. You want to join us? Yeah. 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 Sydney, what is your mentoring style? Ooh. I'm 